Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. If this is your first time to enter this channel, I must tell you that here all the tests are real and our current goal is to start a home power plant with solar dish system. In fact, we want to start a generator with this turbine and be able to supply electricity to the home with this method. You can see how to make this turbine by clicking on the above address. Today I want. Before that, I must say that the rotation speed of this turbine is 3000 RPM in no load mode. Today I'm going to try this old synchronous generator from an old Yamaha factory gasoline generator with this turbine. Its output power is approximately 1000 watts, and its rotor is bipolar, and is it possible to activate it with this turbine? See its specifications closely. Now I put this on the turbine and screw it on. In order to increase the rotation speed of the generator, I use two rollers and place the large roller on the turbine shaft. It should be noted that according to the calculation of the synchronous generator, the number of revolutions for the frequency of 60 Hz should be 3600 revolutions per minute. Now I connect the output of the generator to this power T. Now we want to see if this small electric drill can bring the generator to the excitation point or not. Maximum 3 volts. Now I change the direction of rotation. Yeah. 
This drill is 550 watts, but its rotation speed is 1000 RPM and therefore it cannot bring this synchronous generator to the excitation point. Of course, by changing the stator excitation capacitor, the excitation speed of the generator can be reduced. Now we will do the test with steam turbine. Max 22 VAC. Now I will replace this capacitor, which has a capacity of 400 microfarads, with the previous capacitor. This capacitor is related to a separate coil on the stator. The previous capacitor is a microfarad. Using a capacitor with a larger capacity causes the stator excitation winding to get too hot, and using it too much causes the generator to burn. The maximum voltage is 125 volts. This low voltage causes the drill to spin slowly. Now we test a 220V100W incandescent bulb. It has little light and it is not clear because it is in front of the sun.
Well, you saw that the turbine was not able to excite this generator 100%. Of course, I can enlarge the nozzle hole of the turbine and also increase the tank pressure from 10 bar to 20 bar, and in that case the power of the turbine will increase several times. And it can easily activate the generator but our steam tank is limited and I need to provide a suitable generator for this. Therefore, this generator will not be suitable for our work, because basically, synchronous generators must have a constant speed, and for this generator, the rotation must be 3600 rpm, whether with load or without load. This was the experience we did with the 220V single-phase bipolar synchronous generator. In the future plans, I will make a permanent magnet generator and I hope that the generator testing process will be finished soon. Bye until the next program.